Hey, what's up everybody? Back at you again with another UPS related video. This one has to do with navigation on the Dyad 6. And the reason I'm doing this video is because there has been an update. In fact, I made a previous video talking about how you could disable the navigation on the Dyad 6 by simply unplugging the power supply to the cradle that the Dyad is put into. Um, well, that is no longer the case with this new update. So what used to happen is you could just unplug the power and that triggering for the navigation wouldn't start up because the wireless charging would never happen. The way it worked is, you know, the, the truck would start up, then the, the cradle would start getting its power, then the wireless charging would start, and then that was the trigger for the navigation on the dyad to go ahead and start up. And really, it was an awful, awful way to do it. Like, I don't know what UPS was thinking. Again, this is a good prime example as to a bunch of geeks probably making these decisions. Um, instead of drivers making these decisions because they don't understand what it's like to be out here on the road like delivering these things um, But I think some of those geeks probably saw my video talking about how you could disable the navigation and they're like Oh, yeah, he's right. We better fix that. So uh, So yeah, they've made a fix and so now what happens is as soon as you put the diet in the cradle Regardless if the cradle has power or not and yes, I've verified this even if the cradle is unplugged as soon as you put the diet in the cradle the navigation starts up right away, which is very, very good. Like here, I'll show you. Look, I already unplugged my cradle actually, just to show you for this video. No power to the cradle. Dyad in the cradle within, I don't know, two seconds, bam, navigation starts up right away. That's a good thing. That's how it should have been from the beginning. I mean, that's probably exactly why everybody was looking at my last video talking about, hey, I could disable the navigation because it was so awful. <laughs> People are like, how do I disable this? So yeah, so that's a that's a nice big advantage. So thank you, it, wh whoever made that decision finally realized that's how it had to be done. Um, I'm not sure exactly how it's happening. I don't know if if uh, there's probably some kind of RFID sensor in the cradle, and as soon as you know the the dyad senses it, then that's the trigger. Now whatever, I don't care how it's doing it. It's better. Okay, it's way better. But I have already found a glitch in that system. So for me, a lot of times, I don't, I don't know about you, I don't take my dyad up to the house where I'm making a delivery. I don't bring it with me, especially if it's like a bulk item or something like that. I'll scan it at the truck and then I'll put the, you know, I'll do a stop complete. I'm going to leave it at the front door and I'll put the dyad right back in the holster and then I'll walk the package up to the front door, not having to worry about bringing the dyad with me. I don't, I don't need to bring it to the front door. There's no, there's no need for that. So, <clears throat> so what happens though, here's the glitch and it may happen to you. Um, and if you uh, UPS geeks that make these decisions are watching this video again, please fix this. <laughs> it's a glitch for sure. So what has happened, and I've noticed this, is as you go ahead and make your uh, stop complete, right? I'm in my truck, for example. I do stop complete. I've already made the delivery. Hit stop complete. And then for whatever reason, the diet takes like sometimes like three seconds before it's actually finished processing that stop, um, before it shows you your next your next delivery on your uh, manifest. Um, if you put, if you hit, let's say you hit stop complete and then right away you put it back in the cradle, which is what I would normally do. Then what happens is for whatever reason, that navigation pops up right away and it doesn't actually complete the stop bef before. Like it takes it out of your manifest, but for whatever reason, now it's trying to have you navigate to that previous stop again, which of course makes absolutely no sense. If you, if this happens to you, just know that that's a definite glitch in the system again. I'm in my truck, I, 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 I deliver the package, right? I hit stop complete. I put it right back in the cradle right away before it's technically finished processing that stop. As soon as you get back to your truck and you go to start up the truck and go wherever you're gonna go next, it still has the previous stop that you just made where it's trying to navigate you to. It's, it's really, really stupid and aggravating because it'll make you think that maybe you didn't deliver all your packages because if there's still a uh, package in your manifest, then of course it's gonna try to have you still deliver that. So you would think that, oh shoot, I forgot one. Now I have to turn around and go back. You're, if, if you think that and you go back, then you're gonna be looking for a package that's not even in your truck because it just, it just told you to go somewhere you don't need to go. And it's just really one of those glitches that it's like, come on guys, like get this right already. This, oh, it's really frustrating. This whole navigation issue the whole diet six issue is is such an issue for so many people um i i really wish ups would consult somebody like myself or anybody else that's smarter than me that actually drives actually does this for a living 
um, I think you would have s such a better product and you would have your stops per hour go up because like this would just flow and, and things would work right and drivers wouldn't be frustrated and so much time wouldn't be wasted it's like we get paid a lot of money in fact we just got a raise like we're, we're wasting <laughs> seriously like we're probably wasting at least 15 minutes to a half an hour out here on the road every day when this Diaz 6 doesn't work right. We still have to restart it all the time. Well, it's, it's maybe gotten better. I still have to restart mine once or twice a day. Um, there's just so many glitches. And here's another example as to what's so slow on the Diaz 6. And it was, a, it was kind of the same way on the old one too, but it's like we make these deliveries, right? We deliver to houses, we deliver to, to uh, business stops. And every delivery we make, it's asking us if it's a residential delivery or a business delivery. It's like, how does UPS, how does our database not know that we are making a delivery to a business or to a house? It's like UPS, UPS has to know that this house that's been here for a hundred years is a residential delivery. Like, why are you having your, your drivers confirm that on every delivery? It's just like another step, another step that just takes so much time. It's like, gosh, it's like this process again could be so much better, but I'm ranting at this point. Seriously, if, if, if some of you higher ups at UPS need some advice on how to get this thing working better, hit me up. Like, geez Louise, like for the love of all that's holy, it's really aggravating. But yeah, all right, guys, that's it. I just want to wrap this up. The Diet 6, it's, a, it's an improvement. The navigation is better. So if you want to try it out, I do recommend it. But again, the glitch, the glitch, if you hit stop complete and you put it right back in the holster, it's going gonna, it's gonna to try to navigate you to the stop that you just completed, which is absolute junk. Okay. Anyhow, I'll see you guys on the next one. And uh, as always, uh, subscribe if you can. If, if you find these videos useful, uh, share, the, share the video if you can or whatever. And I'll see you on the next one. Take it easy, guys. Bye.